Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I am already up to my elbows here in uh, our dinner that's going to happen tonight and it's going to be crock pot dressing and it's chicken and dressing. You know, lots of times we don't think about making that except during the holiday, or at least in our family, we don't. I don't know why it's delicious. And we're making it in the crock pot, which doesn't heat up your house at all. You know, I'm real fortunate in the fact that even when I use my oven, it doesn't seem to heat up my kitchen. But I know a lot of y'all have said that it does. It'll heat up your house. So I wanted to start with this crock pot dressing recipe. And I have some other crock pot recipes that I'm going to bring you just to kind of help us get through the dog days of summer because... I'm not sure where you're at, but it is summer in Fort Smith, Arkansas. So we are going to be cooking with our crock pot and keeping everything nice and cool. So let me tell you what I'm going to start with. This is cornbread dressing and it's going to be nice and moist. And I know that when we have made dressing in the past, before we actually started using this recipe, that was what you worried about. Is the dressing going to be moist enough? Is it going to be dry? So if you like that dry dressing, this isn't for you. This is delicious and it's moist and once you taste it, that's what's happened to us. We haven't ever gone back to the other. So it starts with an eight inch round cornbread. Now I didn't have any. I had to make some cornbread today and I've broken it all up in this bowl. But if you have some cornbread that you've saved and frozen, this is the perfect time to use it. So you break it up, just get it all small. And I'm wearing my gloves tonight just because when I'm really digging in the bowl and dealing with all the stuff by hand, my hands are clean, but I just feel like I've given everybody an extra level of cleanliness by using my gloves. So we've got our cornbread in the dressing here, and then we're going to put in four slices of old bread. And what I had in the cabinet was just some old um, hamburger buns. So I just used two hamburger buns and counted that as four slices of bread. Did the same thing in here, broke it all up and got it in with the cornbread. Now we're going to add, this is going to be a process. We're going to add everything in this bowl, then we'll go to our crock. In here, now we're going to add four eggs. And just like I told you before, just to make sure I didn't get anything else in it except the egg, I broke it in a measuring cup and just mixed it up a little bit. But we're going to mix this all together so if it hadn't gotten really broken up, we would still be able to do it. After the four eggs, we're going to add whoops, just one medium onion. And I like to use white onions. I just think they're pretty. They all probably taste pretty much the same. I know some people, I know I love the Vidalia onions when they come in. And I could have used my little food chopper too. But just one onion. It won't take me just a second to get this all chopped up and put it in. You know, make the dices the size that you want if you want them smaller. I know, and when our family is here, our daughter-in-law is not really an onion fan. So lots of times I'll omit them or even grate them make them really, really small. She likes the flavor, it's just the texture. And I understand, I get it. There's very little that I don't like, but I get it. And I'm going to try to make everybody happy. I've already got some celery in here. I think I needed a half a cup. I just rinsed my celery off really good. Kept it all together. And these were the celery hearts, they were so cute. So put that in. It's everything that you expect to find in the dressing that you pull out of the oven, but it's going to be in the crock pot. So it's awesome. Okay, now we've got that. Now we're going to do some seasoning. We need a tablespoon and a half of poultry seasoning. I hope I've got that much. Did you know that you really need to check the dates on your seasonings? I always think it's wonderful that I buy the great big seasonings at Sam's. Well, I hate to throw them away, but lots of times they're out of date. I'm kind of a stickler for dates on things. That's right at what I need, so that's perfect. That smells so good. A tablespoon and a half of poultry seasoning, and I checked the date before I started, and it's like 22, so we're good. Now we're going to go with our salt and pepper, and it was just a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, so I'm going to put that in. You can see everything sitting on the top here. Before we put our soups in, and that's the secret, that's what's going to make it so delicious. I told you I'm adding chicken to this to make it a whole meal. 
And I have cooked my chicken in the oven. I did it at uh, 375, cooked it for 35 minutes with just some olive oil and salt and pepper. And I like my chicken cut pretty small. You know, I, I think back when we would have this during the holidays and mother would use a whole chicken. And, um, you know, you break it up, you pull it apart. Well, you know, you get some skin and you get some things in there. That's never fun. Take that bite. But this, you don't have to worry about. I just use chicken breast. And by roasting it in the oven, I really held some really, really good flavor. So that's going to be wonderful. So we've got that ready. And once we get the soups in, we'll mix that in. And we're almost done with everything that we need. We use two cans of chicken broth. And if you have homemade chicken broth, I think that's awesome. I never have ventured into making my own chicken broth just because this is so good. But I hear people that swear by it and say that it's so much better. I probably could. I, we have two little puppies. Well, one big and one little, but I cook their chicken in my instant pot. So I get all kinds of juice in there, but I don't. I just buy this and I make sure that I just keep it in the cabinet. Okay, we're getting pretty close here. Let me just stir this around just a little bit. The last soup that's going in is two cans of cream of chicken. And you know I'm a cream of, a cream of whatever girl, so the cream of chicken just makes this taste heavenly. And really, the flavor is so good that you could eliminate having the chicken and you'd have everything that you needed. I just like having a little chicken. So these are two cans of the delicious Campbell's cream of chicken. Well, that's one of my little babies right there. Isn't she precious? You know, let me just tell you real quick. One of my reasons when you see me walking around the stove and I kind of have to look where I'm stepping, I have a dog that sits right here the whole time that I'm cooking. I don't think it's because she thinks I'm going to drop a morsel. I think she just is ready for me to go sit down. But that's where she's at. She was telling me a story right then. So, two cans. Cream of chicken soup. Ooh, we're gonna get that all mixed up. Once we get it pretty well incorporated, I just wanna to, to add my chicken. I'll tell you a little pet peeve. When I'm stirring things up, I always like to use a plastic or something. I cannot stand to hear that metal on glass. There are people on the cooking network that use that, and I just want to go grab a spatula, people, make it quieter. But maybe they're trying to cover up the horrible noises this makes, but it's all good. This was just three chicken breasts that I cooked today, but there's no reason you couldn't stop and pick up a rotisserie chicken or even use canned chicken or eliminate the chicken altogether. But like I said, this is going to be our... Um, entree for the evening and I don't even know what we'll have to go with it but it's going to be delicious you can tell it's going to be moist just by looking at how nice and moist it is right now get it all mixed in and I am going to I went ahead this is my crock for my crock pot I went ahead and put a little cooking spray in it just because I want to make sure that it's not going to stick it won't it would have been fine but it just seems to help it a little bit come out. I've never used, excuse me, those bags. I know my mom's used those cooking bags for the, I just think it looks a little different. So, but anyway, you can see how nice and wet this is. I'm going to pour it in here. This is one of those situations where I'm probably glad I've got my apron on. This is a little cute little apron came from our trip to Tulsa on Saturday. We went to the neatest little store. It's called a Cook's Nook. I think that's right. In um, Tulsa, it's just a, a, the cutest little store. So I picked up a couple aprons. I'm always looking for something fun like that. Okay, this is all we have to do. We're gonna top it with just a half, a table, uh, two tablespoons of butter. And once we get all that in, we are good to go. And I'm going to put it in my crock. I've got it sitting, I mean, my crock pot, it's sitting over there, kind of out of the way. This will cook quick, two hours on high, 
four hours on low, so depending on how long you want it to cook, that's all you need. So I'm going to put that in my crock pot, turn it on high, so I'll see you back here in just two hours. Welcome back. I'm so excited to share this. It looks delicious. This is our, we've put chicken in it. It's crock pot chicken and dressing. Wanted you to see how this looks just coming off of the crock pot. It looks fabulous, smells heavenly. It's a full meal. Look how that sets up and it's so, I mean, it really smells like the holidays, but I think what you'll find because you're not mixing this with all the casseroles and all the other things you're having during the holidays, you're really going to enjoy this dressing. And like I said, we're just going to put a salad with it. That's really all we need tonight. This is super simple, two hours on high. We could have done four hours on low. And let me just go over the recipe one more time so that you'll have it. It's an eight inch round cornbread. But like I said, if you've got cornbread in the freezer, pull it out. Four slices of old bread. If I don't have old bread, I just set mine out and let it dry out a little bit. I've even toasted it. Four eggs, a medium onion, one half a cup of celery, one and a half tablespoons of poultry seasoning. Be sure you check the dates and it's still good. Ha a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, two cans of cream of chicken soup, two cans of chicken broth or your own if you have it. Put that in here, mix it all together. Put that in your crock pot, put two tablespoons of butter on it, and let it do the rest. This is what we did today, and it's going to be delicious. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll try it. Keep your house cool, and have Christmas in July.